welcome students in this video we will try to complete practical number 5a which expects that we required to create a web form to demonstrate use of website navigation controls and site map to understand these all things i had created already a small uh, web application which does not have much of the content i will just show you how this particular web application get created i had created one master page and it is the master page for all the pages here you will find there is a home page the home page is giving the link towards the admin page the home page <coughs> gives the link towards the staff home page and the staff home page gives the links to the add student as well as the home page gives the link towards the student home page which is giving the link towards the exam and exam gives the link towards the result so let's see practically how these pages are interlinked with each other so i just run this particular web application and trying to show you how the contents are been seen so you will find this is the home page which allows you to go to the admin home page which allows you to go to the staff home page the staff home page allows you to go for adding the student similarly you will your main home page allows you to link with the student home page and it also allows you to link to the exam and exam is linking towards the result so just i had created the links between the pages because for creating the site map path what we expect we expect that we should be knowing how these pages are interlinked with each other we should have our structure ready with us till the time we don't have a structure ready with us uh, how we can create a site map because site map consists of all the links how the pages are interlinked with each other now let us try to build a site map so how to build a site map it is quite easy first of all go towards creation of adding new item and when you are adding the new item you can just search in a contain called as a site map when you go towards the site map you will find the site map file has been present over here which consists of a file name as web with the extension as site map this is the xml file and in this xml file you are trying to provide all these kind of site map nodes so you will find the main node as site map node what is the url of it what is the title of it and what is the description of this particular url so i know my entire communication starts with the home page that the reason i had given a url over here as home.aspx the title i had given it as uh, maybe as home description if you want you can provide it now home page gives a links to which are different pages the home page provides the link towards your student home right <coughs> student home is also been there admin home is also there now admin home is basically available inside your admin folder so i had provided over here admin folder there is a page called as admin.aspx and maybe i had given a title to it as admin home that depends on your requirement you can provide the title properly again site map uh, uh, this node main home is going to give a link towards what your student home and staff home so i had given a url as staff folder and there is a page called as staff home dot aspx maybe title i had provided as staff home put a chat title de dena and once again i am trying to create my site map node where i am providing the url as student and it is linking towards the student home dot aspx title i had provided as student home description you want to provide you can provide so you can very well see now what is happening our main site map node consist of these three child site map nodes right and uh, all the nodes are been closed directly over here now please remember that the nodes if it is giving the link to the child node then it should not be closed like a unpaired tag so it need to be started with the site map node similarly it should be ending with our site map node so i had started with the site map node 
सेम वे आई हैड एंडेड विथ वॉट द साइट मैप नोड एंड इन साइड डिट साइट मैप नोड आई विल बी अगेन एडिंग द चाइल्ड नोड सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट आई हैड जस्ट क्लोज डाउन दिस थिंग रिमूव द स्लैश फ्रॉम हियर एंड इन दिस क्लोजिंग ऑफ द साइट मैप नोड इन बिटवीन दिस आई विल डिसाइड दैट वेदर दिस पेज इज गिविंग द लिंक टू एनी अदर पेज ना लुकिंग एट द स्ट्रक्चर आई नो दैट होम पेज इज गिविंग द लिंक टू द एडमिन बट एडमिन डज नॉट गिव एनी फर्दर लिंकेज सो आई जस्ट रिमूव दिस साइट मैप नोड एंड क्लोज दिस एज अ सिंगुलर टैग एज अ अनपेड टैग बट आई नो माई स्टाफ होम गिव द लिंक टूवर्ड द एड स्टूडेंट सो आई क्लोज दिस पार्ट एंड नाउ अगेन आई एम क्लोजिंग दिस साइट मैप नोड and inside this site map node i would like to provide uh, another site map node again i am providing url staff folder i will be linking towards add student dot aspx title as per our requirement i am providing as add student now does the add student gives a link to any other page Now, add student does not give to link to any other page, so I am just closing this. Now again, I am coming over here with my student home, and I know that student home is also linking to the page called the exam. So here I am closing it by providing site map node, and here I mention my student home gives a link towards the child node called the exam. So here I am again I am providing site map node. URL has been mentioned by me as students slash and I'm providing exam dot aspx. So the student is been linked with what the exam dot aspx. The title has been provided by me as exam, and this exam is also going to be linked to the result. So here again, I'm providing site map node, providing URL as students. Slash. I am providing result. dot aspx and title has been provided by me as a result. Fine, but result is not giving the link to any other child node. So I am just closing this thing. So this is the way my site map web. dot site map is entirely built. Main is home link with the admin. Main is home link with the staff. Main is home link with the student. the staff is also linked with add student the student is linked with the exam exam links with the result the entire site map is been created by me and now i am interested in adding this site map to the master page so automatically uh, the site map will be shown to all other pages for doing it i had just gone to the site dot master and after my content place holder i am interested in adding a control called as site map pa so i go to the toolbox and i'm interested in going for navigation controls under the navigation control you will find a control called as site map path so adding this site map path inside your master page trying to format the site map path so that it will look beautifully and given a click on okay this site map path should be linked with our xml file so how to go with it now for doing it you can go to the data controls you will find there is a site map data source control has been available so i can just drag out the site map data source and i plan to go for refreshing the schema i don't require to set up any properties over here few more properties need to be done just wait a minute i will pause the video in between i am having a small work we will complete it and we will start with the video again okay thank you to wait now let us start with the execution of the project what has been done by us already we had created a web dot site map and contains are been added and i run this particular page when i run this particular page you know that this particular uh, page will be generating the error in front of you okay fine it shows me the error uh, because i am trying to run my master page we have to run our home dot aspx so now if i try to run this particular page please check what is happening it shows me home dot aspx but might be there is one error right 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 so this is what the error which is getting occurred which says that my sql sitemap provider type is not able to connect 
Now, right now we are trying to connect it by using the XML. So, this particular MySQL sitemap provider need to be removed. So for doing that, uh, we just require to go to the web.config. Under the web.config, you can move towards your system.web. Under the system.web, you can provide sitemap. Under the sitemap, you can just provide a, and you have to go for removing the provider. Right. So, I just kept the tag over here as under the sitemap providers and remove the provider which is being by default being set by the ASP.NET web application. Now, if I am trying to go for, so what has been done by me under the system.web, I am having sitemap. Under that, I will be having provider. I had removed the name which has been displayed as the error message to you people. Right. So, this has been displayed as the error message to us. So, that has been removed by us. And now I am trying to run this home.aspx. Now, you can see our sitemap data source is getting displayed on all the pages because it was been added on the master page. So, it shows me that currently you are on the home page. You know that on our XML file, we had given title as home. I go to the student page. So, now it is showing that this is your student home page. Uh, and currently you are in the student home page through the main home page. I go to the exam page. So, it says that you are received to the exam page to the student home from the main home page. I go to the result page. It shows me that currently you are in the result page to the exam page to the student home to the home page. So, I can give any of the click and I can jump to that given page. Suppose I am giving the click on student home. I am jumping to the student home page. If I am giving the click on main home, I am jumping towards what here? Main home page. Now, this navigation is been set by us inside our XML file named as web dot, uh, sorry, site one dot master, uh, very sorry, web dot site map. So, this is what a web dot site map which has been developed by us, which consists of uh, how the pages are interlinked with each other. And then this XML file is means source as the SQL uh, sitemap data source. So, which has been added by us inside of a master page that is sitemap data source. And as well as I had just developed over here as a sitemap path. So, this is what a sitemap path used by me. And for a data source, I had used sitemap data source. And the configuration is done by us inside our web dot sitemap. So, that's all for today. Uh, so, class, we had completed our practical number 5a. But sir, this is expecting a lot of navigation controls and no issue here. You can just utilize the same data source for all the navigation control uh, like menus or maybe the tree view, etc. Just I will show you a small example. Suppose I am going to my uh, main master page and here I am interested in planning to add the another navigation control named as a menu. And under the menu, I am just choosing my data source as sitemap data source so automatically you will find it is retrieving these all information from this sitemap data source so automatically you will find all the options are being displayed over here on every page so why this error is occur because i'm running the master page you can't run the master page you need to run some contained page your home admin home you're having staff home student home exam result Right. And as the contents have been added inside a master page, the contents have been visible uh, among all the contained pages of the master page. So, we can able to go for adding this uh, menus with the help of sitemap data source. Or if you are interested, you can create your own tree view and on menus. So just try it out. It is not that difficult. I can just go for creating a new menu. Instead of choosing data source, I will just give a click on edit menu item. And now I can create the root item. In the root item, I can provide the text. I can provide to which navigation URL the work has to be done. That means this will be linking towards which page that need to be mentioned over here. This way you can create a main item and a child item and child to child item. For every item, you can specify your text as well as navigate URL. This is quite easy. You should try it. Uh, if still you have the problem, comment it out. I will try to create a separate video for it. And even if you are allowed to go for changing the 
orientation also like this is what the orientation if i would like to change it i can allow to go for changing the menus orientations also so how to go for changing the orientation so let us try to find whether we are able to go for changing the orientations or not so let's let's switch properties which properties are item collection has been there orientation it is vertical i can make it horizontal so what will happen for the horizontal is simply you can see the output now the okay again the same error you know that i required to call the home page so i am just providing over here slash home dot aspx and i go over here home staff home now i have only one item na? that's the reason why exactly the orientation not been displayed in the appropriate way but you can just go on create the menu set up the orientation set up the color and see the various effect so navigation controls the complicated control was a site map path which has been shown to you menu and tree view they exactly look the same uh, just look and feel is different but the property setting is exactly were under same and even if you can specify the source of a menu or a source of a tree view as a site map also so thanks a lot for watching this video uh, stay tuned with us and please subscribe the channel and please share the channels with other students also thanks a lot students